Hello, Squirrel Tribe 2.0. It is Tuesday. And yesterday, while we talked about what was going on with the FBI at the Francis Scott Key Bridge and some other things that had transpired, barge related, if you would, for the last like week or two, there was more interesting things happening uh, in California, in case you have not heard about it, and the Golden Gate Bridge basically being shut down along with I-880 in a couple of different places, in part, or completely actually, due to pro-Palestinian protesters. PPP, I guess you could shorten that to that. So here is a small little glimpse of where these protesters shut everything down. So Golden Gate Bridge was out for I think like eight hours, if not longer. Hello, computer, come back, wait. And then you had them, they shut down right there, I-880 at 5th Avenue and I-880 at 7th Street where protesters stopped traffic. So according to this, this is important, okay? Because there has been a lot of protests in the last, I don't even think it's been a year, but the last few months we've heard a lot of protests. There, there were a lot of protests in New York. If you guys remember, there were protests in DC. There's been bro protests everywhere. I'm not quite sure why the Golden Gate Bridge was uh, part of the protest this time, but the pro-Palestinian protest has been a very strong movement throughout the United States, which is interesting because, you know, we're the United States. We should be protesting for things that are affecting us here and our people. But that's, you know, I understand people want to protest for the safety and the, the, um, the safety and the livelihood, I guess, of others in other countries. I selfishly still feel like we should take care of our own before we worry about anybody else, but that's just me and you can hate me for it or not. I don't really carry the way because that's how I feel. I feel like we here, if we want to protest something in the United States, it should be about something in the United States, like something, I don't know, the Biden administration has done or has not done, things along those lines. But this one, pro-Palestinian uh, pro protesters shut down the Golden Gate Bridge and I-880 in Oakland for hours on Monday as part of a, this is what interested me as part of a worldwide economic blockade in solidarity with Gaza. So worldwide, you had people making protests and blocking streets and blocking bridges throughout the entire world. Um, California just happened to be the, the hub of it here, I guess. The California Highway Patrol said 38 people were arrested and face a variety of charges, including unlawful assembly, refusal to comply with a lawful order, unlawful stop on a bridge, resisting arrest, false imprisonment, and conspiracy. That one is interesting to me. Um, so North I-80, uh, I-880 in Oakland, here is, I'm not gonna hit play because we, we talked about this yesterday. You may not have seen the video. I'll give you a little um, recap, if you will. So yesterday we talked about the fact that Fox News had somebody pull down their three hour, uh, three hour long or hour and a half long. I can't remember if it's hour and a half or three hour long live stream that they had done because they used 10 seconds of some news footage from Fox News and Fox News got butt hurt over it and had this person take their entire thing down. So I refuse to play anything at all from anybody. I will give you still shots and then we will converse about what we're seeing here. But this is at um, I-880, let's see northbound 880 at fifth avenue the protest began at 6 6 15 a.m then at 8 15 a.m protesters shut down southbound lanes of 880 in oakland 12 people were arrested there so you can see the people copping a squat in the middle of the freeway let me explain why i'm talking about this because this bothers the crap out of me you can call me a road rager you can call me a karen you can call me um heartless selfish whatever you want to call me that's fine i've been called a lot of names in my life i'm used to it it's not a big deal but when people do this dumb shit, sit in the middle of the road and protest like that it is stupid it's not getting your point across it's not making anybody want to join your um your cause, if you will, all you are doing are, are one, making people late for work, two, making people late for whatever else that's not work, um, blocking police and ambulances and fire trucks from getting from where, where they need to be, causing all kinds of issues. Technically, if you really want to get like technical with it, you're also adding to the pollution because people are now sitting there in traffic with their cars just a running. So these same people, which is interesting in different countries, you see these people who are protesting climate change and all this other stuff and the use of gasoline. And then they block roads knowing good and damn well that the people in the cars that are now sitting there with their engines idling are, you know, just gasoline all over the place. 
some protesters aren't very smart. There are correct ways to do things and then there are stupid ways to do things. Blocking an interstate that affects people that aren't really the ones that you are mad at or you have issues with has never made sense to me. It, it's absolutely stupid. All you're doing is making people not want to join your cause whatsoever and then make people want to run you over. So here's where I have always been curious about. If your dumbass decides to sit in front of my car on the freeway or on a road, whatever else, can I run you over? Pretty much all I really want to know. Am I allowed to nudge you just a little? Because technically you're in the road. You're not in a pedestrian crosswalk. I have the right of way. I feel like I could just slowly use you as a speed bump and go on my way and be perfectly fine. Um, if you're stupid enough to sit in front of my car, I'm smart enough to move you. Like that's how it works. I saw a video one time of this protester. There was a whole line of people. They were protesting oil while wearing all kinds of, you know, things and carrying plastic, whatever. And I'm like, the irony is not lost on me. Obviously it was lost on them though, but they were blocking an entire thing. And there was an ambulance trying to get through. And this one lady was so beyond fed up. She walked out into the protester group, wrapped her y'all ladies, ladies, you know exactly what I'm gonna say, put her hand in this woman's hair and twisted and wrapped it around her wrist and yanked her out of the road. And I was like, Ooh, Oh, I love that energy. Yes, please. More of that. Because again, if you want to protest things, there are ways to go about it. And sitting in front of my car is not the right way. All that's going to do is get you with tire marks across your face because I'm not going to sit there and let you just block everything from everybody. And again, call me a Karen all day long. I'll answer because uh, that's what it's fine. So the first protest Monday morning again happened on uh, I-880 in Oakland at Fifth Avenue, which we just talked about. Uh, protesters brought barrels filled with concrete onto the highway and chained themselves to the barrels. Law enforcement had to cut through the barrels before they could arrest the protesters. They are doing a whole lot. To me, that is not a peaceful protest. That is not something that they said, you know, we're going to go about this peacefully. We're going to get our point across. They said, we're going to enact violence because concrete barriers is a huge deal. You, you plan the crap out of that one, right? It wasn't some like sit in kind of thing where everybody decided to hold hands and, and blockade it. They concrete barrels y'all. According to this, this is according to, um, California Highway Patrol Chief Don Goodbrand with the CHP Golden Gate Division. We have to use jackhammers and saws to break into those barrels. We did everything we could. You can imagine how complicated that is. They put time, effort, and money into their protest, and which cost the um, CHP Golden Gate Division and California Highway Patrol um, CHP cost them a ton of money and resources to get these idiots out of the road. For every police officer that is there having to deal with these protesters, that's one police officer who cannot be out there helping somebody who's the possible victim of a stabbing, of a carjacking, of a rape, of anything else. You have these police officers having to use their, their time and effort over here with these idiots when it could be used somewhere better, right? I don't... And I know there have been protests in the past that were extremely important protests, like the walk on Selma and then all these other different protests um, that I can't think of the names of any of them now because my dog just distracted the crap out of me licking his butt over here. Um, there have been plenty of protests that were peacefully done. There have been ones that went to shit, like far to shit, and then turned into looting and riots and stuff. And those to me were never protests to begin with. Those were just excuses to loot and riot, whatever. And then you have the ones like these where it's like, how is this helping your cause? What do the people on the Golden Gate Bridge have to do with pro-Palestinian and Gaza? Like not a damn thing. I don't think people understand that sometimes your cause isn't where you want it to be. Take it to where it is, like <laughs> move. You know what I mean? Anyway, so as of 1:15 yesterday, all lanes of northbound I-880 reopened. Seven protesters were arrested at that location. Then, um, there was another one, the southbound Golden Gate Bridge. Pro-Palestinian protesters blockaded the Golden Gate Bridge for hours, sending the Monday morning commute into chaos. The second protest in the Bay Area was reported around 7.55 a.m., causing traffic to back up for miles into Marin. Authorities worked to detain protesters who chained themselves through tubes to other people inside of cars in a sleeping dragon protest, sleeping dragon protest method, which, so... What this means is 
I'm trying to figure out how to like visualize it. So you had people who chain themselves through tubes to other people inside of cars. So these people are in the vehicles, which means that it had to be timed extremely well for the vehicles to be at the front to get there to stop all the vehicles behind them. The people also had to be on the bridge to then chain themselves to the bridge through some tubes through the cars to the people in the cars. So it's not even like you could ram the car in the front out of the way because there's chains attached to everything. They really thought this through. And to me, that makes it more violent than peaceful protest, in my personal opinion. When you've made it so that there is no way at all to peacefully make a change and move them out of the way, my earrings are off, then that to me is a form of violent protest. My thoughts on that. Monday morning's commute turning into a Carmageddon is what they've called it, nightmare, after pro-Palestinian protesters blocked both lanes on the bridge. The demonstration closed the span for hours, leaving um, drivers frustrated. Now, one person goes, I think this is the only way people will listen, but at the same time, I wish there was a resolution around it. I don't understand why here there's so much protest for something that is technically not our fight. Now, you're gonna have people out there on both sides of the coin, if you will. People who say, no, it's up to us, the United States, we're one of the greatest you know, countries in the entire world, the greatest country in the entire world. We have a military presence, we have all this other stuff. It's up to us to stand up for the little guys, to go to bat for little guys, to go after the bad guys and all these other things. And it's like, do we always have to stick our nose in everybody else's business? Do we always have to let all these other countries pull us into their mess? Like, why are we always footing the bill and putting our people's lives at risk for the shit that's going on in other countries? They don't do the same thing for us. Like, not always. And also, we have a tendency to try to stay out of stuff more than other countries do, in my personal opinion. Um, I know there's a lot that happened before my lifetime. There's a lot that I don't remember from learning in school because... My brain does not brain the way it used to, um, I would say 20 years ago, pre-motorcycle accident and brain trauma. So there's that. Um, but I, I do think that all these protests, these pro-Palestinian protests and everything, how do we put a stop to that? And again, there's people out there who's like, no, we don't need to stop it. We need to have more of them. People need to really understand what's happening. Cool. I'd rather talk about the um, drug epidemic going on in our country and the homeless epidemic in our country and the fact that we have millions upon millions of illegal aliens in our country or illegal immigrants, whatever, in our country, the child traffic in our, in our country. Like those to me are more important personally than what's going on in any other country. And again, that makes me selfish. That makes me a Karen. That makes me whatever. I don't give two shits because that's just how I feel. Now, traffic um, said it was backed up for, my, for miles on the southbound 101 through Marin County. Pa oh, look. Pro-Palestinian protesters marched to the Tesla factory in Fremont as part of a worldwide economic blockade in solidarity with Gaza. So here's a picture from that. Again, I'm not going to hit play. I will put a link to this article in the description or the pinned comment. So if you guys want to watch it, you can. But this is at the Tesla factory, just so you guys see there. There's obviously some not peaceful protesting going on there. CHP officers were turning cars around at Alexander Avenue and Sausalito. Excuse me. Frustration was spilling over when a motorist was caught on a cell phone camera confronting protesters on the bridge. Some folks say their health was at risk by the closure. Um, let's see. Somebody was late for surgery, which is a huge deal. Uh, let's see. Medical procedures. We don't need to read their quote. Doesn't really matter. So here's a picture of the Golden Gate Bridge. Both directions of the Golden Gate Bridge have been shut down due to a pro-Palestinian protest. Demonstrators have blocked the southbound direction of Highway 101. This is the second protest causing a major backup on Bay Area roadways. The demonstration is blocked northbound, blah, blah, blah. This is from X, formerly known as Twitter. I know how you guys love being reminded that it's formerly known as Twitter, but this is part of the blockade, the beginning there. You can see how they've got the sign out and everything else. And I'm trying to figure out the people through the car. So you see those first three cars? Hold on, get my camera close or whatever. You see the first three cars? You can see there's people in between them. So those are the three cars that they've got people chained inside there as well as part of their peaceful protest blockade. Now, according to this other one, this one here is the 880 in West Oakland, um, northbound I-880 earlier. Wait, no, 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 no. A third pro-Palestinian protest has blocked southbound I-880 in West Oakland. So that's this one here. Again, 
a third third protest there in in the city of um san what is that san francisco in that area uh let's see Okay, so Sky 7, which is who was recording most of this stuff, showed some protesters being detained by police. The CHP confirms five protesters from this group were arrested. One protester said this is about drawing attention to the war in Gaza, pushing our local and federal officials to call for a permanent ceasefire. They also want American tax dollars to stop funding support to Israel, one of many reasons why they chose tax day for the demonstration. I am very sorry for the people that are being killed because we decided to support a system that is absolutely wrong. We cannot provide guns to someone to kill children, period, said Emilio Pin Pineda, Marin County resident. Now, I do not have all of the knowledge when it comes to what is going on with Israel and Palestine and Gaza and stuff like that because it, it becomes uh, overwhelming after a while and it's not something that I want to dwell on on a daily basis because I have my own issues we have our own issues over here to worry about so I'm not daily you know soaking in all of this negativity from what's happening over there now organizers say these protests are part of a15 a worldwide economic blockade and solidarity with Palestine and calling for an arms embargo and an end to U.S. taxpayer funding for Israel. Monday is the tax deadline for most Americans yesterday, April 15th. The Oakland Economic Blockade Against Palestinian Genocide says they are protesting alongside 56 cities around the world. Protests have blocked tra uh, traffic in other major cities Monday morning, including Chicago at O'Hare Airport, in case anybody was curious. Um, Let's see if what this is. Um, one, uh, one of the dozens arrested during the Bay Bridge protest was a mom that was stuck in traffic headed into San Francisco for work. I wonder why the mom was arrested. Did she get out and like try to move people? Like why was she getting arrested? Because it doesn't say. It just shows the picture of this lady getting arrested. Somebody that was stuck in traffic. That's crazy to me. But I feel like we're going to continue to see these kind of protests. And all it's doing is wreaking havoc for regular everyday American law abiding tax paying citizens who are trying to get from point A to point B and live their life and take care of their families here in the United States and do what they need to do here for this country. And here we are having to deal with the shit from everywhere else, you know, trickling in to where we are. And I understand that people want to fight for other people, like I said, the, the, the little guy, the small guy, the whatever, and make sure that their voices are heard and stuff like that. But I will never understand personally how affecting the regular people gets your point across. Why aren't you marching on City Hall? Why aren't you marching into D.C.? Why aren't you marching to where it actually matters as opposed to the Golden Gate Bridge and, you know, making moms and dads late for work? Like, that to me is, is stupid. It's just about getting attention and not about actually getting anything done or accomplished. If you want to accomplish something, you, you go about it the right way. This, this to me is not it. So I don't know. I just want to bring that to your attention. I would be very curious if any of y'all happen to be in any areas where there were um, the um, protests. Let's see. I didn't look this up. What cities were part of, we said A15. No, A15 protest look let's do this together if i can figure out how to type um a15 pro palestinian protest okay here we go so it says here anti-israel protests in san francisco pro-palestinian protests in chicago pro-palestinian pro-palestinian protesters block block good lord why is this so hard to say pro-palestinian protesters block block brooklyn bridge really this is what we're doing it's like a tongue twister Pro-Palestinian protesters block part of the Golden Gate Bridge, which we already know. Um, let's see if there's other things here. Is it telling me where else? It's not really telling me other cities. It says there's a lot. Philadelphia protests today, part of A15 campaign. So Philly got it also. Um, we're held in Brisbane, Tasmania, Wollongong, Sydney, and Canberra. These are obviously Australian news. Brisbane is Australia, Tasmania... I think those are Australia, not New Zealand, right? I suck at this. It's one of those two. Um, Melbourne, Australia, tai, Taipei, Taiwan, Genoa, Italy, Catalonia, Spain, and some other places. So, I mean, this was everywhere yesterday, and obviously there was no heads up. So, I wonder how the people who are part of these protests know, like, how to get there, but, like, nobody else does. Is there, like, a 
dark web pro-Palestinian protest page? Like how do, how do they know these things and nobody else does? Anyway, so, okay, protesters also gathered in major cities globally, including Athens, Belfast, um, Belfast, Northern Ireland, Sydney, Australia, Barcelona, Spain, let's see, Philly, Miami, San Antonio, uh, Chicago, we already said. I'm trying to figure out if there's any other places. I bet they didn't protest anywhere in China because they wouldn't let it happen. Um, I don't see any other cities right now. I'm sure there's more, obviously. I'm going to see if I can find a link that'll show all of them. And I'll try to put that in the pinned comment also. But I'm curious what your thoughts are on things like this, protests like this, where we can't even, we as citizens are not even protesting for our own people and our own issues here. Yet we have green card citizens, if you will. I don't really know. And then like illegal citizens probably, or illegal aliens, legal citizen isn't the thing. Illegal, illegal immigrants, uh, green card holders, probably some American citizens also all protesting for other countries. Like wh where do y'all fall in that? Like, how do you feel about those kind of things? Just out of curiosity. So I have more stuff to talk to y'all about, but I, this was interesting and I wanted to bring it to your attention. I'm sure a lot of you already have seen it, but figured we'd have this talk anyway. So I love you all squirrel tribe. Thanks for letting me have this talk with you. And I'm looking forward to your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. So leave them now. Okay. Love y'all. Bye.